Today I want to talk to you about uh, a very powerful truth. It's a simple truth, but it's simply profound. And the truth is this, as a follower of Jesus, you are never alone. So I'm, I'm going to be a little vulnerable here and just let you in on this. So um, two weeks ago, I woke up on a, uh, on a Friday morning and uh, I had a, had a low-grade fever. And uh, that fever lasted for nine days. And if you're thinking to yourself, well, did you get tested and all that? Well, I, I didn't have major symptoms. And at the time they were saying, you don't need to get tested unless you have major symptoms uh, because we don't want you know the hospitals and emergency rooms to be overrun and all that. But here's the bottom line. I had a fever for nine days, a low grade, like 99 and a half to 101. Uh, I didn't have any other symptoms other than I was extremely tired and lethargic and uh, I got some I got some headaches during that time. But here's here's why I'm I'm telling you that. Oh, and by the way, uh, observed all the protocols. I did film one time at the church, but everybody stayed like a hundred feet away from me. I just literally walked in, did it, turned around, and walked out. But um, just kind of managed through that. I'm I'm a week now later, no fever for over a week, and uh, and doing doing much better. But um, I, I do want to tell you about one particular evening during that that time. I had one night when I was, I was just feeling really bad. And, um, you know, you get to day like six, seven, eight, and, um, you're just like, is this ever going to end? And, um, I did something that I tell all you guys not to do. <laughs> I just saturated myself that day with the news and with different reports and was reading about all kinds of different things. And so I'm laying there in bed and, and I start really churning on the sickness. And I'm like, well, what if this really gets bad? Uh, what if I get it and Katrina gets it? And then, you know, what do we do with our boys? And then what if we go into the hospital? What if I go into the hospital and um, I can't contact anybody? I mean, I'm reading these stories and I've been praying for people who are literally in the hospital alone because their loved ones can't come see them. And I was kind of at this place in between asleep and awake. You know what I'm talking about? And I, and I had this dream, and the dream was, I started getting really bad. Uh, Katrina called the ambulance, they came and got me, and they took me to the hospital, and I forgot my cell phone. And so in this dream, I'm in the hospital, um, you know, at a point where I'm about to breathe my last, and I can't contact anybody, and nobody can contact me. And I woke up from that and I, I felt, you know, some fear and all that as, as you would. And, and then this overwhelming thought hit me and, and it brought me peace. The truth is I'm, I'm never alone. The truth is in and through my faith in Jesus, God is always with me. And he will never leave me and he will never forsake me. And that truth is stellar all the days of my life and forevermore, no matter what, what happens. And if you're a follower of Jesus, that's the truth for you. You are never alone. The verses that I wanna read today were actually um, read by uh, Robert and Lindsay up on the mountain a few days ago. Um, they shared with us from Psalm 73. I wanna do that again. And, and point out, again, just a few verses. And if you didn't actually pick up your Bible and read that, I want to encourage you to do so. I'm going to read it for you now, but maybe uh, when the video ends, get your Bible and look it up. So Psalm 73, and I'm going to read verses 23 through 26. Listen to this truth. And remember, you're never alone. The psalmist writes, Lord, I am continually with you. You hold my right hand. You guide me with your counsel. And listen to this, this is beautiful. And afterward, you will receive me to glory. Whom 
have I in heaven but you. And there is nothing on earth that I desire besides you. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Listen, child of God, no matter what comes in life, through the ups and the downs, through sickness, through health, through plenty or in times of need, you are never alone. I want to take a moment and just pray for you. And I hope that you will get your Bible out and, and read this for yourself. Psalm 73, I read verses 23 through 26. But listen, you are never alone. Fear not. God is with you now and forevermore. Let's take a moment and pray. Father, thank you for your grace. Thank you for this wonderful truth. May we rest in it today. Father, some of us are afraid. It could be some of us like me are sick and we're wondering how far that's gonna go. Uh, some of us are concerned about jobs and finances and all kinds of different things. And may we even right now in this moment and throughout the rest of the day, may we just take hold of the truth that you are with us. In this world, we will have trouble, but you have overcome the world and you are with us. Our, our strength may fail. We may have challenges. We may mess up on certain days, but you are our hope. You are with us and you are our portion forever. Give us wisdom of these things and may we walk in this great peace today. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Hope you have a great day and we'll see you this weekend for online services.